guys, this is Ben here. In today's video, we are going to be opening up two booster boxes of the new set, Battles of Legend, Relentless Avenge. Uh, I already did open up one of these on the channel, you guys know. I, I, wouldn't, I was basically taking my time going through, looking at a lot of the cards. So, going to be a little bit faster today's video. Going to hopefully get Golden Castle, Stromberg, or, I don't know, just another Topologic a Dragon as well. I'm not even recording my video. So now we are recording. Here we go. Uh, right off the right off the start too, Dragonic Diagram. <sighs> this cover was a hundred bucks when it initially came out. This is when I started getting back into competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, well, it's kind of weird. Like my story is, well, I'll just continue to open while we'll continue on. So, Duelist Alliance. Uh, the, the reason why I said when I was starting to get back in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh is like, uh, there was, there was, I, I went in phases with Yu-Gi-Oh. So like, when Yu-Gi-Oh came, first came out, played it for like three or four years. They kind of grew grew away from the game, and then when I was older, got back into it like my freshman year in high school, and then recently, well, I wouldn't say recently. So then I played up until like my senior year in high school, and then when I left for college, which is far away, like I kind of sold all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards because I was trying to buy stuff for school, stuff for my channel back then, like a, a computer for my other channel, my Clash Royale channel, um, Car Trooper, and then. Solemn Strike or Solid Judgment there. So those are two good ultra rares. Car Trooper and a, that was a good pack, man. Um, so yeah, I sold all my off my collection and there was no like card shops in the era that it was. So I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh for a couple years. And then I got back into it. Like I got some more Dark Magician stuff cards and everything. And then I wanted to play competitive again. And then I got back in around like the time when Dragonic Diagram or Goth, the Rentless... Or got through the relentless, like when this set literally just about one. It's like right when Maximum Crisis got released. That's when I was like, all right, I'm gonna get the competitive meta deck, and then I build, I built um, True Draco stuff. So that's my story. And then I've been playing hardcore competitive since then, uh, and it's just crazy, man. But I had like other collection stuff too, so it's kind of weird. Like I was collecting stuff. We have number 90, Galaxy has Photon Lord. We this guy's crazy, man. Talked about him in good length in the last video. TG Wonder Magician as well. Uh, yeah, like it's weird. Like even though I wasn't playing competitively, like before I started picking up that Dark Magician deck, before Maximum Crisis, I was still like collecting some cards. So like throughout those time, like yes, I sold my collection, most of it, um, before like when I went to college to help pay for that stuff. We got Monster Reborn. That's really really cool. Uh, Nuria the Moral Leader, Tema the Sky Star, Cyber Dragon. That's a good ultra rare. But like after that, I kind of regretted selling that stuff, and I tried to pick up a lot of stuff too, like throughout those years. So it's kind of weird. I don't know. Like it's like, yes, you could say like I quit, but I never, I didn't really. Like I was still collecting some of the stuff. Elemental Hero, Honest Neos. Oh my God, man, we're getting a lot of good pulls, dude. If you don't know what this does, you can discard this card, then target one hero monster on the field. It gains 2,500 attack until the end of this turn. You can discard one hero monster. This card gains attack equal to the discarded monster's attack until the end of this turn. You can only use each effect of Elemental Hero on his Neos once per turn. Eater of Millions. Uni Zombie. Very good uh, reprint there. Born from the Dragon. Pumpkin Carriage. And Eater of Millions again. Cool to see Eater of Millions get the reprint from a common. Uh, so I guess that's kind of my story, but like... Oh no. And then I, when I got back, I had the urge to open up a lot of the old stuff. Old booster boxes and whatnot. Another Draconic Diagram. Guess I'm going to be playing True Dracos. Unending Nightmare. Torrential Tribute. Ultra S Hextia. And Kaiki, the Unity Star. But I would say probably the last two years, I've been going hard, like... Like, I, that's when I've been going hard collecting and getting a bunch of the old Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So that's kind of, I guess, the, the timeline. But, like, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh has probably been around a year. I'm um, getting back into that. But it was easy kind of because like, it was like right when Lynx, no, it was like, I don't know, man. It's hard to describe. It, it really is. Like I, like I would play on the Dark Magician, but I wouldn't play competitively. So I guess that's all I can really say about it. You guys get what I'm saying? Like I would still play or like keep up with the game, but I wouldn't get the competitive cards until Maximum Crisis when that came out. When I was like, all right, I'm gonna get back into competitive. But I was still collecting. I guess that's the easiest way to say it. Sorry, sorry if I kind of repeated myself a few times. It was just I felt I didn't des describe it the best way. And there we go. We got Boral Guard Dragon. This is what I was hoping to get. Uh, I really like this artwork on the card. It goes with. Uh, I just like it, dude. Um, three three plus effect monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects. Uh, it's basically. You gotta attack over this bad boy. 
Um, once per turn, you can send one card from your spell and trap zone to the graveyard. Special summon from either graveyard to your field one monster that was destroyed and sent to there this turn, but negate its effect. Once per turn, a quick effect, you can target one monster on the field, change it to face up defense position. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this cards into in response to this effect's activation. Boral Guard Dragon, very, very good. Uh, Litimus Doom Ritual, World Legacy Discovery, Kaiju Flies, and Hayate the Earth Star. Alright, man. Things getting good, dude. This is a way better box than our other one. And we got Topologic Gumblar Dragon. Oh my god, dude. Performance Trick Clown. Solemn Strike is in this pack too. Iron Knight and Neospace and Air Hummingbird. Wow, dude. These We got Dragonic Diagrams. We got all the Topologic dudes in the first box. We got Monster Reborn, which is like crazy. It's like for it. Well, it's Seeker Rare, so I get it. But it's like, it's quite up there in price. Solemn Strikes. Dude, these pulls are way better than our first box. Oh my god, man. Is this a Golden Castle box? Infinite Machine, that's for Time Lords. I mean, it's bound to get one dud pack like that. Give me another Dragonic Diagram. If I get another Diagram, I'll, be, I'll go back to playing True Dracos, dude. Oh my god, we got it! We got it! Golden Castle of Stromberg? This card is so hard to pull. Can't even talk right now. This card is so hard to pull, guys. I think it's like, not even one per case. I think that's what I'm hearing. Golden Castle Stromberg, oh my goodness. And all the other cards that we just pulled. Pre-preparation's all right. We're putting like the good ultra rares kind of here. Wow, man. So, so far we have two Dragonic Diagrams. We got Topologic Gumblar Dragon, Boral Guard Dragon. We have the na number 90 Galaxy has Photon Lord. This isn't that great, but Honest Neos. Monster Reborn's another one up there. These are all like secret rares that are have like, they're worth more than like four or five bucks, except for maybe Honest Neos. So that's what's so good about this box so far, man. We pulled two of them, I don't even realize that. And we just got Golden Castle Stromberg, which is like, I think, 25 to 30 bucks, but it's probably gonna go up, like, over time, because it's so hard to pull, and there's gonna be people that love the princess stuff, and it's such a beautiful card, dude. Wow, once per turn during your standby phase, you must banish 10 cards from the top of your deck face down, this is not optional, or this card is destroyed. During your main phase, you can spell someone one monster from your deck that specifically lists the card Golden Castle Stromberg in its text. You cannot normal summon slash set the turn you activate this effect, even if this card leaves the field. You can only use this effect of Golden Castle Stromberg once a turn. When your opponent's monster declares an attack, destroy the attacking monster. And if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the attack of that monster on the field. It's a field spell card. Oh my god, man. I can't believe we got that. Golden Castle, coming in clutch. That one's so hard to pull, from what I hear. And then we got Tornado Dragon. Wow, dude, we're getting all the good secret rares. Duelist Alliance is okay. Pure Preparations Rights, okay. My gosh, man. Let's keep, it, let's keep it going. Glorious Numbers, I don't really know. If you control no monsters, target one number, XYZ monster in your graveyard, so some of them draw one card. Solemn Judgment in there, okay. Good Ultra, Cypher Driver, and a Bottomless. So, the Ultra is made up for that pack. Wow, dude. Living Fossil, Baguska, TG Wonder Magician. <laughs> Box one, coming in crazy clutch, man. So cool if we could get two Golden Castles, another Tornado Dragon. We're getting a lot of duplicates, man. The Neospatians here. Like, I'm okay with that though. Like, I'll take duplicates of all the good secrets, man. Keep coming them. Keep throwing it this way. I can't complain at all. Brilliant Fusion, that's also a good secret rare. Now, something's gonna be up if we get another Brilliant Fusion, like right now. Like, maybe this is like a factory print box. I don't know, or we're just extremely lucky here. Ah, uh, okay. Merlin, Trental Tribute, that one's good. Damage jugglers up in there. Let's work it down to a couple packs in the first box, but we already pulled so good, man. I'm not really keeping it super organized. It's okay. We have Prince Eisen again. I think I actually put her over here. 
Um, did it open it? There we go. Can I get it? Can I get it? There we go. <laughs> the bag was hard to get off. Living Fossil, Iron Hands, Fool's Rail Goods, Dark Lord Enchantment, Iron Knight. It's literally just Iron Knight. Thought it had more of a name than that. Wow, this, this opening is probably one of the best ones I've done in a very long time. Metal Falls Mithrilium, Rainbow Dark Dragon, Noble Knight Madrat. Convert Contract, okay. Last pack out of this crazy box. Two Dragonic Diagrams, Golden Castle, Stromberg. Oh my god, man. And we got Rainbow, we got, oh, I was gonna say Rainbow Elephant. Flying Elephant, we got him last last box too, and his Solemn Strike. Oh, and his Cyber Dragon. The reason why I'm like that, because those cards are actually worth like a couple bucks, dude. Flying Elephant, man. This is a dual winner right here. Or match winner, dual winner, I think. Match winner, same thing. Wow. Well, that was an insane box, man. <laughs> we have one more to open. Let's just get into this right now here. We'll, we'll put the Golden Castle out here. And along with this man's right there. And then we'll, well, we'll do a recap at the end, obviously. I just want to make some, some space for us. That box was insane. We got the top of Logic, dudes. Hold on. Don't want to, like... I don't want to rip the cards. I think my pin is, it's time to get a different pin. It's losing its strength. It's losing its, it's losing its, uh, I don't know, its sharpness. That's the word I was looking for. Wow, dude. That was, I don't know, I don't know. That just like, did you, has anyone opened up a better box? Like for you guys? Maybe someone opened up double castles of Stromberg. That's probably insane, but. Just all of like, let's just, I'm just gonna show the recap now. Just look, all of the good secret rares, like Brilliant Fusion. Merlin's probably not in that category. Elephant, Flying Elephant, I know it was around a couple bucks. I think five maybe, Brilliant Fusion, Tornado Dragon. This guy, not so much. Another Tornado, oh. Diagram, Boral Guard, Monster Born. Number 90, Galaxy has Fortune Lord, Dragonic Diagram, double of those. That's all the good secret rares we got. And then we got Top of Logic. Another one of this guy here. How does this one box, like, Getting that many of the good secret rares. I guess I'm just comparing it to my first box I opened, and maybe that's why. Because, like, my first box was not that good. We got another Boral Guard Dragon. Oh, my God. And another Solemn Strike. Oh, jeez, dude. That's a good start to this one. Holy crap. Getting Boral Guard. Getting that Solemn Strike. Good to go, dude. Infinite Light. Infinite Light. Rainbow Dark. Noble Knight. Cyber Dragon. Worth a couple bucks too. Jeez, dude, this this is crazy. Prince Ison. I think we opened up a playset of her. TJ, Wonder Magician. Oops. The only reason why I'm putting TJ Wonder Magician to the side is because um, if we do end up ever getting Needle Fiber, Christian Needle Fiber, and that's like not a prize card, it'll be pretty good. Life, the Phantom Bird, World Legacy Discovery. Nothing too great. I don't know how we can top that last box, man. I'm going to hear Honest Neos, Torrential Tribute, Slash Draw, Noble Knight, Cyframe Driver. All right. Take it, we'll take it, we'll take it, man. Metaphors, Mithrilium. Iron Cage. Sorry, I'm just going quicker. I don't want this to be like an incredibly long video. And I was, sorry, I was getting too hyped early on in the beginning half. This is all the good pulls, dude. Number of Galaxy S4. We pulled so many of this guy. He's so good, too. Aqua Dolphin. This guy, or Goki's run, and it is crazy. Once per turn, you can discard one card. Look at your opponent's hand. And choose one monster. If you control a monster with an attack, Greater than equal to that card, the attack chosen, destroy the chosen card, and if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Otherwise, take 500 damage. So basically, you discard one card, and then you can rip out some hand traps like Droll and Lockbird. Uh, any of, like, Ash Blossom, Winter Ghost Reaper, well, actually, no, I think you could chain Ghost Reaper, we, you can chain Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherry's effect and still get their, their stuff off, but this card was teched in, and I was not expecting it in Goki's. 
Pretty crazy, man. I lost twice because of that. He ripped out my Joel and Lockbird, and then I had no hand trap to stop him. He just made the the full like Goki board. It was nuts, man. I was, I was like, just like what? <laughs> crazy, dude. All right, let's continue this on here. Brilliant fusion, nice. The the good pack continues. Well, the good packs. With good ultras and good supers. Oh, this this pack's a little messed up. See, that came like that. So I can even get it. Uh, there we go. Whoosh. Dragonic Dagger. There we go. Got our playset. Looks like we're playing true Dracos. We're gonna get rid of the trick stars, I guess. I, I said it. Hey, so I, I said it, guys. I said if we can get three Dragonic Dagger games, we will play true Draco again. <laughs> I don't know if I even have all the cards, so maybe I'll go hunt them, but I'll, I'll stay true to my word. Um, I'll play them, why not? Time to change it up for a little bit. I've been playing the Sky Striker Trick Stars for a long time. Well, Trick Stars for a long time, and then the Sky Strikers. I don't know. I don't know, I'd rather just play something a little bit... I don't know how to say it. A little more, not normal, but like... Less expensive. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the best way to say it. A little bit more budget friendly. Okay. Let's continue on. Open that up. There we go. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Glorious numbers. Ooh, uni zombie. Unending nightmare. Bottomless. That's like all. Throw pretty good ultra rares there. Even Guy Saber's like, he's not the greatest ultra rare, but like, it's still decent. Well, I guess now we have better ultra rares, so he's not, he's kind of out of there. Glorious numbers again. Medion's in there. All right, so. Getting down to the wire. So we haven't got like the crazy. We got, we got Boral Guard Dragon though, I guess. Air Hummingbird. So we haven't got like the Golden Castle crazy pull, but you don't want to, you can't really expect that because they're so hard to pull. Oops, that one I might have bent to a card. It's bent, nope, it's still good. Top Tornado Dragon. So I was a little nervous there. Wow. Keep giving me these good secret rare pulls. Trickstar Reincarnation, all right. all right. Oh, okay, I think I, I don't know how many of these I pulled, but. <laughs> the thing is crazy, dude. I don't know how else to describe it. Merlin again, Solemn Judgment. Jeez, man, we pulled so many. Cypherm Driver, Bottomless. Go over there. And we have Harbonation Dragon, Fool's Real Goods, TJ Wonder. I really just, I'm disappointed they reprinted Fool's Real Goods again. Like, come on, you just reprinted it in one set and just like destroyed the value of the card and now you reprint it again? It's like, stop doing that. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm all for like making some cards easier to get, but you don't need to like reprint a card and then the next set reprint it again. I think that's kind of like, come on now. Glass Slippers, oh, that was another Dragonic Diagram. That would've been crazy. Tenma, the Sky Star, Eater of Millions. Uh, pumpkin Carriage, I guess, can go over there. Last pack here. Let's see what we get. We got another Flying Elephant, so that's a good secret rare to get. An ending number, and Uni Zombie. Wow, well. We pulled not as good as the first box. The first box was insanely crazy. I think we got two of the flying elephants. Uh, I pulled another reincarnation in the other box. So I pulled two of those in total. I'm going out of three here. Here, all, all this out of three boxes from the first video and this video, I'll show you the ratios. Yeah, I'm pretty, oh, there it is. I was gonna say, I, I thought I pulled a playset. So I pulled a playset of Brilliant Fusions out of three boxes, two Dark Lord Ixil. I played, I pulled three of the Supreme King Dragon Dart Worm, two Trickstar Reincarnation, triple of the Flying Elephant, 
Only one monster reborn out of three boxes. Triple diagram out of three boxes. Um, two Boral Guard Dragons. Uh, I think four of the number 90 Galaxy has Fortron Lord. Only one Hex Atrude. Or Hex Trude, I don't know. One Golden Castle Schomburg, which is incredibly rare. So maybe these two are kind of harder to get. Uh, we pulled three Tornado Dragons. Two of the Topologic Gumbar Dragon. Two Elemental Hero Anos Neos. And a whole bunch of like the Ultra Rares that you guys saw. Uh, probably the hardest Ultra Rare to pull, I think, was either... Well, Solemn Strike wasn't even like that terribly hard. It was probably... I guess I would say Solemn Strike because that's probably... The, the best one of the better ultra rares in the set but overall i'm happy with that we actually did end up getting the golden castle so the one of that we got were this this and this for the decent secret rares so other than that though wow that was crazy hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe for new to the channel stay tuned for more awesome videos and i'll see you guys later